Hello, this is Eric Anderson with the Zamba Consulting Group. The standard new interface for Dynamics 365 sales and customer engagement is the unified interface. It's intuitive, it's easy to navigate and find things, and most importantly, it's just easy to get stuff done. This is the Sales Hub, and it's one of several model-driven apps that are part of the standard Dynamics 365 package. A common quest question that we receive is how can I take the default Sales Hub app and modify it so that our users can just see what they need to see? For example, you might have some team members that just need to see one or two dashboards, accounts, contacts, and opportunities. The Sales Hub is great, but it does have a lot of content that you may not need. If I scroll down here, I have leads, opportunities, competitors, I have quotes, orders, invoices, products, and sales literature. Not every one of your users is going to need to interact with these entities in these areas. Most of the list views and dashboards have quite a few options when you select the dropdowns. And like I mentioned, your users might only need one or two list views, one or two dashboards. So we're gonna take a look at how we can take an app like the Sales Hub app, copy it, and then modify it to make it more efficient for your team. So the first thing we're going to do is open up the advanced settings here, and this is how we can get to the customization area. Now, there's a few ways we could do this. We could create a solution and add that model-driven app to a particular solution, or we can just go to customizations, which is where I'm gonna go now. So under customize the system, this is where I can see all of my entities, fields, list views. I can add a lot of, of things here. And if I scroll down to the bottom, this is where I have my model-driven apps. And to create a new model-driven app, I'm going to select new and give it a name. Let's call this uh, basic user. And we'll give it a description of accounts, contacts, opportunities. Now, if I want to copy the Sales Hub app, what I'm going to say is use an existing solution to create this app or to build this app. So I'm going to check that box and select Next. Select the solution. So under the solution, we have a default solution. So, you know, unless you want to pull this from a custom solution that you've added, you can just use the default solution, drop down into the sitemaps and select the Sales Hub and click on done. Once that's completed creating and copying from the Sales Hub app, it actually opens up the app designer. And so you can see I'm inside of Power Apps now, I'm in the app designer. Um, I have access to the sitemap, I have access to all of the entities, forms, views, charts that I want to view, that I want to be accessible inside of this particular app. And so there's a few things we can do here. First, let's go to the sitemap and we'll click on open the sitemap designer. As I mentioned previously, these users aren't really concerned with quotes, orders, invoices, product, sales, literature. So we can just highlight this whole um, column here and delete that. Same thing with performance, just highlight, delete. Um, if I wanted to drag something like cases into a different area, I can just select it, drag it, and drop it. So maybe we do use cases from time to time, so that would be that would be a good thing to have under customers. So I'm going to go back to service, highlight that, delete that section, and let's just put opportunities under here as well. And we'll go back to um, sales here and highlight that and delete that. And so we've made a very simple sitemap with dashboards, activities, which would be my tasks, emails, calls, things like that. And then just customers. What do I see under customers, accounts, contacts, opportunities, and cases? So let's save that. One thing I love about this app designer is there's a publish button right here, so I can publish it. And it's typically pretty quick. Um, and then we're gonna go back to the core app designer. Click at the top left here. Now, if I want to slim down some of the options that I'm going to see, for instance, on my account, I only want to see a, a couple of views rather than seeing 15, 20 views that my, that my uh, team never needs to see. 
So I can select views here, deselect all, and let's take active accounts, all accounts, and um, maybe I wanna see inactive accounts and prospects. So I'll just take four views. And I'm gonna save that. We can do the same thing if we go up to the dashboards area. Right now, I have a drop down for dashboards. It's showing all dashboards. Let's deselect that, scroll down, and let's just see a couple of key dashboards, like, for instance, the sales dashboard, sales overview dashboard. And let's do sales activity dashboard. So three dashboards. And I can repeat this for other entities. I don't have to remove all of these entities because I already removed them from the sitemap. So what, what I'm controlling here is if I do go to accounts, what forms are we able to see? What views, what charts are we able to see? So for instance, again, if I wanted to scroll down to the opportunity entity and select views here, I could deselect all and just say, let's see this view with all opportunities. Let's see closed opportunities. Let's see, um, let's see one opportunities and let's have a view that shows open opportunities and I can save that. And again, once I've saved this, I can hit the publish button right from here. Okay, so once we've saved and published that, let's just save and close that app. And I'm gonna close this uh, Power Apps customization area. And so I'm back to my um, advanced settings area. So if I go under settings and go to my apps, this is where I can see all of these model driven apps and even the, the, the old traditional apps, for instance, the Dynamics 365 Custom takes me into the traditional user interface. So I can see right here that I have an app called Basic User. That wasn't, that wasn't there before I saved and published that. And there's a couple of things we can do from right here under more options. First of all, um, if I want to manage the roles, I can scroll down through my list of roles and add this app to particular roles. You can see by default, the app gets added to the system admin and system customizer roles, but nothing else. So if I wanna go add this to my standard salesperson role, um, maybe sales manager, you know, other roles, I can do that and save that. Now, the other thing we can do under this uh, manage roles area that's pretty cool is we can, uh, we can add a suffix to the URL. So if we wanted to call this basic, for instance, you can see we're gonna have a URL called azsales.crm well, or whatever your instance is slash apps slash basic. So it makes it easier for your users to find and get to this app. They can bookmark that particular URL with basic at the end. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up this basic user app. And can see there's just a few things over here dashboards activities if I go into my dashboards there's only three um, if I go into my accounts and drop into those account list views there's only four of those um, so very streamlined a lot less a uh, lot fewer options over here one thing to point out is you can move back and forth between apps so if I wanted to go back to my sales hub app there's a little drop down right here and I can pop open my sales hub app and we're back to that default uh, Dynamics 365 Sales Hub app. So thank you for watching. Hopefully you found this valuable and we'll see you next time.